Hi, I am back for my next weekly video update. So going into check-ins on Thursday, which would set me up for my six weeks out this Saturday. It's Monday right now. This Saturday will be six weeks out. So today is my first like rest day. I'm not lifting and I'm not doing cardio. And I don't think I've done that. Like I've maybe done it once throughout this whole prep. And I've been in prep for 14 weeks. I think days like that are just really mentally tough for me. But I am struggling hard with my energy and with my leg fatigue. Um, by the end of the day, if I have to go upstairs, I want to cry. Like, I will not go upstairs unless it's because I'm going up to bed. Like, to have to go upstairs just to come back down is so draining. Um, my legs just feel like bricks, like they just feel like they're made of cement or I'm wearing these really heavy million pound boots on my legs. So I knew I needed a full rest day. I need to recover. So I'm going, I'm doing that today. So far so good. I also, um, knew that my period was coming up because my hunger hormones, I talked about that in my last video, were just out of control. Um, I almost like lost control a bunch of times. Um, and I ended up getting my period yesterday. I was seriously so freaking happy to get it. But today I'm really, really, really bloated. I'm retaining a ton of water. I have really bad cramps, really bad low back pain, but that's okay. I'm glad that it's over. It's It came and then it's going to be over because after I get my period, my appetite decreases a lot. So that's going to be great for me because my hunger now is at like a 20 out of 10. Um, I couldn't sleep last night because I was so hungry. And that's the first time that's ever happened to me. Um, like hunger pains stopping me from being able to sleep so that wasn't good um but I, yeah that's my only update i don't think i have anything else to talk about just that this weekend was tough exhaustion and hunger and there's still six weeks left but that is okay. I almost wanted to quit last night and said, I don't want to do this anymore. I can't. I can't. I'm, I, I cannot. But I didn't. I drank some water. I had a sip of pickle juice. Um, and I just forced myself to go to sleep. So I got this far. I can do this. I will... I don't know what I want to talk about this video. Like I liked last video I had like that main point where I talked about the cost of competing. So um, maybe we'll talk about like macros versus meal plan for this one. Okay, I will update when I have something update worthy. See you soon. Good morning. It is Wednesday day before my check-ins. I just finished fasted cardio. I'm gonna shut that off. Um, good morning. It's Wednesday. Day before my check-ins. Um, I just finished fasted cardio. I took two days off in a row from fasted cardio. Um, because I've had kind of like an interesting week. Um, my recovery has been really terrible. Um, so I decided, I talked about having a full rest day yesterday and no, last time, um, yesterday I just did legs, which was like really, really tough. And then I just did my post cardio, just walking in the treadmill. Um, usually when I do legs, 
I burn like 500 calories. My heart rate's pretty high. I couldn't even get my heart rate past like 80 yesterday. Um, I worked out for like an hour and a half and I burned like active 200 calories. I don't know what's up with that. I'm going to talk to my coach. Um, but also I was on my period. I got my period and I had extremely bad gut issues. I don't know if it was because of my period or, um, cause I got some sort of bug, but I had never experienced gut issues like that. Um, you could look down at my stomach and see it moving and rumbling and pain and just, oh my gosh. So I feel better today, much better. I did my fasted cardio, I'm taking my supplements. I'm taking extra care of my gut now. Um, so I'm just gonna have some BCAAs in a net. Um, I started partnering with Pure Encapsulations their supplements are very, very, very high quality. They go through a bunch of different testing processes. I've used their supplements in the past, and then when I saw this opportunity to get involved with them, I jumped on it. So I'm gonna take um, the L-glutamine with my BCAAs on my empty stomach to try to, you know, work on my gut health. And I also, I'm gonna take, I got a probiotic from them, which you keep in the fridge. I'm gonna take that with my breakfast. And then I also switched over to their melatonin because obviously their melatonin is better than the uh, drugstore. Um, and I got a great night's sleep last night. My sleep was terrible the past three nights. I don't know if that had to do something with my other supplement I started, which I'm gonna talk about that later. I wanna talk about supplements later for this video, um, what I'm taking and what I recommend and what I kind of don't recommend and how things are working out for me. So I'm going to drink this, just chill for a couple minutes, try to push breakfast off. It's 7.25 right now. My first client is at 8.30. I have kind of a busy day, so I'm gonna relax and then eat and then get my day started. So I will update you soon. And my weight this morning was at 134.0. So I'm excited for check-ins tomorrow. Good morning. It's Thursday, so today was check-in day. Um, I woke up two and a half pounds heavier than the day before, um, but I'm a little constipated. Um, I have my period and I woke up with a stomach ache. My stomach just has that heavy feeling in it. Um, so I let my coach know about all of that. Otherwise, like my week was pretty, my week was good. Like I checked all my boxes. I did everything I was supposed to do. Still feeling pretty fatigued, having a tough time getting my heart rate up. Um, my workout yesterday was pretty tough. I have to do legs today. Um, I also did, so I worked out yesterday and did fasted cardio and my lift and my post workout hit. My coach said I should be doing hit. So I did 10 minutes of hit. No, I did 20 minutes of hit. So I think my body is stressed from yesterday too, because I said how my recovery was lacking and I not, wasn't feeling good. Um, I took that full rest day after that full rest day, my weight dropped. So I think my body is stressed out right now. Um, today, did I say today's a refeed day? <laughs> today's a refeed day. I am scatterbrained. I locked myself out of my house yesterday without my car keys. I lost my keys to the gym this morning. I couldn't get in. I had to call my boyfriend. Luckily, he was close by. Um, so yeah, really scatterbrained, um, brain fog, fatigue, all that fun stuff. My first prep was nothing like this, maybe towards the very, very end. Um, but I never had like these crazy digestion issues I'm having now. So I'm going to cool it on the artificial sweeteners. I'm going to switch out my protein sources and eat more ground turkey. I eat chicken pretty much for every meal except my last meal. And sometimes one other one. Um, so I'm going to play around with that. And 
I'll update soon and I'll let you know what my coach says or what happens with protocol. I think, I don't know, I don't know. I think she's going to, I honestly, I don't know. The only thing that I would be uh, happy with, I mean, I'm gonna be okay with anything. Like I do whatever she tells me, but maybe if she, she moved cardio up to 45 minutes, <laughs> but kept my food the same. So I'll check back. And how cute is this top? I just got it from Amazon. It has the bra built in. It has padding. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. I will link, it's from Amazon. I will link it in the description. You should get one, they're super cute. I'm gonna link all the tops I get from Amazon because I'm always getting um, compliments on them. Everyone wants to know where I got them from Amazon and they're super affordable. So I'll link all of that in the description. All right, I'll talk to you soon back uh, still nothing from my coach but my <laughs> um stomach is starting to feel a little bit better um i had my two meals already which i feel so much better now um i had 60 grams of oats with some peanut butter protein from quest and then I just made pancakes. I did a serving of Kodiak pow pancake powder, 20 grams of oat flour, a scoop of Beverly Angel food cake. And that I just, just to like bulk them up um, with some sugar-free syrup. And then I had a rice cake and I'm about to go train a client and then go right to train myself. So we're gonna see how this leg workout goes. Um, yeah, wish me luck. Morning. I just finished fasted cardio and I'm currently making um, protein treats for my gym this morning. So I'm going to show you what I'm making. Then I'm going to show you my breakfast. Then I'm going to talk about my check ins and how they went. These are the only ingredients I'm using for edible protein cookie dough bites, coconut flour, protein powder, salt, and butter. Okay, dry ingredients in first, salt, coconut flour, and protein powder. And then I'm just gonna melt a stick of butter and mix it in, super simple. Okay, this is what it looks like. There we go. This is what it looks like after I add the butter. I'm just gonna add small increments of water until it gets the desired um, consistency and I also added some vanilla cream stevia drops okay here's what the edible cookie dough protein cookie dough ball edible protein cookie dough balls look like I'm gonna let them set in the fridge I also made key lime pie protein rice crispy treats and cinnamon cookie batter protein balls the protein balls have first form level one cinnamon cookie, butter protein, peanut butter, honey, and oats, and the Rice Krispies are regular Rice Krispies just with the vegan key lime pie added and some vanilla wafer topping. And finally for my breakfast, I'm having 224 grams of egg whites, an apple cinnamon rice cake with 30 grams of apple, 15 grams of peanut butter, and some flavor get or flavor god, sorry, um, buttery cinnamon roll. My drink, and that's it. I'll update later. Okay, it's finally time for me to update you on the changes that were given to me going into, I guess, five weeks. I set my check-ins, um, my check-ins, I set my check-ins last Thursday and I just have been putting off updating the changes. This Saturday will be five weeks out. So after I set my check-ins, my coach got back to me um, and dropped my food. So my carbs got dropped like 50 grams 
on my low days and my refeed day also got dropped by 50 grams and fats got dropped on both. Um, I don't like to share what my specific macros are. Not, I don't even want to share carbs anymore. Um, but everything got dropped. I'm still doing the four low days and then one high day. Repeat back to the four. Cardio is still the same. Um, so when I did my check-in, my weight was up. I was, you know, not able to use the bathroom. Like my stomach was giving me issues. I had my period. Um, so when I checked in, I was 136 point something. And then this morning I was at 131.8. Um, so, and that was after a rest day. So inflammation is down. I was able to use, start using the bathroom regularly. My digestion feels better. Um, and of course all my calories were dropped. So I'm feeling much better, um, especially after my rest day like Sunday was really tough on me by by the end of the week I'm pretty pretty spent um barely got my cardio in didn't lift because that was a day off and then um yesterday was no cardio no lifting today's the 4th of July happy 4th of July and it's a refeed day for me um so got my cardio in got my lift in and now I'm just going to relax, not go anywhere, not do anything, enjoy my higher calorie carb meals and get some cleaning done, clean the gym. But that's about it. So it's almost five weeks out. It's time to really dig in there. My coach is like, okay, it's time to get you shredded. Um, I think I'm leaner right now than I am. I was for my, sh my first show. Uh, my abs are really popping, um, so yeah, I'm going to get shred. I was not shredded last year, and like, I don't know, for your first show, it's, you know, no one's, no one's going to be their best at their first show. You can only improve from there, so, you know, if it's your first show, and I was, you know, a lot of people should should do their first show natural, I think. Um, because what if you don't want to do a show again? What if it's not for you? Why would you put your body through the stress of using PEDs if you don't know if you're going to do it again? And then you could see where your full potential is. So either way, I don't think anyone should... Uh, it's my opinion. Like, if someone asked me, I would say, do your first show naturally. And then see what you think. Um, but so yeah, I still had a great experience for my first show, even though I, I, you know, wasn't lean enough. I looked, I feel like I looked good though, but yeah, definitely wasn't lean enough. Um, not really concerned about it this time around. I think I will be there. I don't know. My glutes carry a lot of body fat. We'll see if we could get those looking good. Get the tie-ins. I really want tie-ins. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Maybe I'll talk about all the supplements I use and then I'll wrap it up. We'll see, I don't know, this um, week hasn't been too interesting. Uh, maybe I'll do like a full day of eating on my low days. I'm eating a lot of lettuce, adding lettuce to everything, shredded iceberg lettuce to everything but I'm feeling, you know, satisfied. I'm back to not being so, 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 so hungry because my period's over. So I have a good two weeks of like feeling normal until I get starving again. So <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy these next two weeks and I will update you.
Okay, um, I'm gonna do a little um, video on all the supplements that I regularly take. I just finished some posing practice too, so I'm gonna upload that. Um, my legs look good because it's post leg workout day. But I'm gonna go through the supplements I take and then I'm gonna wrap it up. So don't forget to like and subscribe and share and just support me as much as you can if you like my videos. Okay, these are the supplements I take in the morning. Um, this is my fat burner right here. It's pretty intense. I don't recommend you starting off with that one at all, but that's the fat burner I take. I take um, my L-glutamine from Pure Encapsulations. I drink my EAAs um, a couple times throughout the day, but I definitely have some first thing in the morning, pre and post. Uh, fasted cardio and I take my first form L-carnitine also uh, sorry take my L-carnitine pre fasted cardio and sometimes I'll take it after my workout before my second cardio post lift hit session these are my three favorite protein powders I use right now um, I love this one in my ninja creamy it's really good and on like read feed days i put a couple vanilla wafers in there um i really like this key lime vegan protein powder i just like having a vegan option sometimes i'm not vegan and this is my favorite protein this is the best tasting protein graham cracker is my favorite flavor i also love the angel food cake and i also have the cookies and cream and these are the supplements i take before bed um, i try actually i take a probiotic twice a day um, and then before bed, I take vitamin C, ashwagandha, and a calcium magnesium complex to just help with my adrenals. I also have Estro Pro. Um, I am going to start adding this back in after my show to try to help my hormones balance out. So I'm not taking it right now because my hormone hormones are going to be out of whack regardless. Um, and then I'm going to use Adrenal Restore from First Form. Um, regularly to help with my adrenals because fat burners, caffeine intake, you need to replenish all of the damage you've done to your adrenals after that. So I'm going to add back in the Estro Pro and I'm going to add in Adrenal Restore from First Form. I also do peptides. Um, I partner with a local business in my area. It's called Elevation Wellness. It is run by a doctor. It is all medical grade. It is all nurses that work there um, and they do peptides. So I do a fat burning peptide, which is injectable. I'm not gonna really go into that, but if you ever have any questions on peptides, you can reach out to me. Um, no problem. I'd be happy to talk about my experience. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and upload the video. I will see you for my next week.